A 23 year old was hanged by Britishers in Thane jail on 19 April 1910 Krishna ji Gopal Karve and his subordinates were hanged but why did Bombay High Court sentence Krishna ji Karve to death Krishna ji Gopal Karve was born in Nashik in 1887 he completed his BA honors and took admission to LLB at Bombay University he was inspired by the writings of Lokmanya Tilak Swami Vivekananda and Savarkar brothers. He also admired the revolutionaries like Tsafikar Prandhu, Madanlal Dhingra and Khudiram Bose. He decided to be a part of India's freedom movement after witnessing the atrocities of British government on the Indian people, especially during the partition of Bengal in 1905 and monumental reforms in 1909. He was influenced by the works of Vinayak Damodar Savarkar and Ganesh Savarkar. He joined the Abhinav Bharat Society founded by Veer Savarkar. He contributed to various activities such as distributing pamphlets, collecting funds, recruiting members and spreading revolutionary ideas. On December 21, 1909, Arthur Jackson, the collector of Nashik was assassinated. Krishna ji Gopal Karve along with his subordinates Vinayak Narayan Deshpande and Anand Lakshman Kanere shot Jackson. Jackson was responsible for suppressing the revolutionary activities of Abhinav Bharat Society and arresting some of its members. He was also involved in the partition of Bengal. The revolutionaries decided to assassinate him before he was transferred to Mumbai as commissioner. AMT Jackson was shot dead at Vijayanand Theater in Nashik. where a drama named Sangeet Sharada was staged in his honor on the eve of his transfer Krishna ji Karve and Vinayak Deshpande were ready to kill Jackson if in case Anand Lakshman Kanhere failed to shoot Jackson dead but Anand was successful in killing Jackson and committed suicide to save his partners and take complete responsibility for the killing The assassination shook the British administration and sent a wave of patriotic passion among the Indians. It also exposed the activities of the Abhinav Bharat Society and led to the arrest and trial of many revolutionaries including Veer Savarkar. Instead of handing over their dead bodies to relatives, the British officers burned their bodies. Their asthi was thrown into the sea. near thane for more untold stories subscribe and press the bell icon leave a comment to share unknown stories and insights you know stay curious stay connected